Max is 10 years old. He has dark hair and a cheeky grin. He wears blue plastic splints on his feet with soccer balls on them. Max wears these because he has cerebral palsy. He also wears these because like many kids his age, he wants to play soccer. But along with the barriers that typically developing children have to participate in sports, such as cost and transportation, Max also has some physical barriers, such as weakness, tightness, and decreased coordination. This means that he has a harder time participating in sport, but he also would have far more benefits than his typically developing peers if he gets there. Traditionally, Max may have seen a paediatric physiotherapist to receive therapy alone in a clinic to help him do things like stand on one leg to kick a ball. And a systematic review we did showed that this uh, type of intervention, active exercise intervention, works to help him to do that. But it doesn't help him to get out on the weekend to participate in those sports, which is a problem. As physios, we're really great at managing physical skills, but sometimes we can forget that there are other puzzle pieces involved. Children need to be confident, they need to know how to work with a team, and they need to be motivated to attend practice. So that's why we created Sports Stars. Sports Stars is an eight-week program, introduction to sports group, run by physiotherapists. And Sports Stars helps to get kids from individual therapy into participating in the community. We followed 54 children participating in groups across Queensland. And if I had to present a three second thesis, I'd just tell you, it works. <laughs> Every time the statistically significant results came up on the screen, my brain let out a happy ping. Ping, children were faster, they caught balls better, they kicked better. Ping, they were more confident. Ping, they attended more sports. And that's the ultimate goal. These numbers don't lie, and I can confidently say that children who have sports goals, who have cerebral palsy, should be participating in a practitioner-led sports group. But the real numbers that matter are the individual ones. Leah swam a 50-minute race at her swim club. Hannah stayed on the field for 10 more minutes at her Auskick practice. And Max, with his cheeky grin and those blue boots, played his first game of soccer.